my name is Karen, and welcome to day 24 of the Fundamental Mat Pilates Workout. Find a place where you can lay down comfortably and lay down on your back. Let's get started with imprinting. Take a deep breath in, filling up your lungs, and blow it out, feeling your back melt into the mat. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, pressing each individual piece of your spine into the mat. Again, inhale. And exhale as you feel your back get heavy into the mat. Two more, inhale. And exhale, letting your back melt like butter. And last one, inhale. And exhale, pressing each individual vertebra into the mat. Moving on to breathing, take a deep breath in. And exhale, funneling all of your body into your waistline. Again, inhale. And exhale, using your abs to skinny up your waist. Again, inhale. Exhale, move everything in towards the center line of the body. Two more, inhale. And exhale, cinch up that waist. Last one, inhale. And exhale, moving into the center line. Moving on to iso abs, make a triangle with your thumb and your your thumbs and your fingertips and place it on your lower abs. Thumbs at your belly button, fingertips falling toward your pubic bone, peel your hands out toward your hip bones. Make sure that triangle is flat, that it's parallel to the floor, not tilting toward your face or toward your legs. As you exhale, pull that triangle down toward the floor using your abs and then inhale and try to keep it there. Again, exhale, lower that triangle a little more. Inhale and keep it there. Exhale, see how much more you can lower that triangle. Inhale and keep it there. Again, exhale, lower that triangle some more. Inhale, keep it there. And last one, exhale, use those abs to draw that triangle as close to the floor as you can. Inhale and keep it there. Clockwork. Arms can go down by your sides. Imagine that you have a marble sitting right in the middle of your pelvis. As you exhale, use your abdominals to roll that marble toward your heart. And then inhale and roll that marble away from your heart. Again, exhale, tilt your pelvis backward. Inhale and tilt it forward. Exhale, low back gets heavy into the mat. Inhale, tailbone gets heavy into the mat. Two more, exhale, roll that marble to the heart. Inhale, roll it between your legs. Last one, exhale, tilt that pelvis backward. Inhale and tilt it forward. Settle back into neutral pelvis position, rib cage arms, your arms reach up toward the ceiling, plug those shoulder blades into the mat. Feel your rib cage heavy, pressing into the mat. Exhale as you reach your arms overhead toward the wall behind you. Keeping the ribcage glued to the floor, then inhale and reach up toward the ceiling. Again, exhale, reach long overhead. Inhale, reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, long your overhead like you're going to touch that wall. Inhale, reach up to touch the ceiling. Two more. Exhale, reach long behind you. Inhale, up to the ceiling. Last one. Exhale, reach as far as you can. Inhale, up to the ceiling. Arms can go down by your side, head nods. Keeping the back of your head in contact with the floor, exhale as you lengthen through the back of the neck. Inhale and lift the chin. Exhale, lengthen the neck. Inhale, lift the chin. Exhale, really separate those vertebrae. Inhale, keep the length as you lift that chin. Two more, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. Last one, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift. 
Adding the neck curls, begin with that head nod, and then fold in half at your rib cage, reaching your arms long, and then roll down bone by bone by bone. Again, exhale, lengthen and lift, reach. Inhale, stretch the spine as you roll down piece by piece. And again, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, really articulate that spine. Two more, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, roll down piece by piece. Last one, exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, really stretch that spine as you roll down. Knee folds. Exhale, and use your abs to pull your right knee in toward your chest. Inhale as you lower down. Alternating legs, exhale, pull your left knee in. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, deepen the abs to pull the knee in. Exhale, resist with the abs to lower the leg back down. Over to the left, pull it in on the exhale. Inhale as you lower. Again, over to the right. And inhale to lower. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, lower. And right knee. Really deepen those abs. Scoop deeply. And left knee. Exhale in. Inhale, resist to lower. One more on each side. Exhale, right knee comes in. Inhale, lower. Really keep that pelvis nice and stable as we do the left knee for the last time. And inhale and lower. Go ahead and roll over onto your tummy for flight. Arms are long by your side, reaching for your toes. Abdominals are scooping as if you're going to lift them up off the floor. Shoulder blades are sliding down toward your back pockets. And your forehead can be resting lightly on the floor, or you can hover it just off the floor. Inhale as you reach your fingertips towards your toes and lift your head and shoulders off the mat. And then lower back down. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen as you lower down. And again, inhale, slide the shoulder blades towards your back pockets. And stretch the spine to lower. We have two more. Keep those abdominals scooping deeply. And lower back down. Last one. Inhale as you lift. And exhale, stretch the spine to lower. Seated tracking, go ahead and sit up. Legs are out straight and you're sitting as tall as you can. Make sure that your middle of your foot is lined up with the middle of your leg all the way up to your hip joint. So we're going to watch the alignment of the leg there with the foot. Begin with the feet flexed, heels reaching. Press through the balls of the feet, reach long through the toes, pull the toes back and push through the heels. Again, press through the balls of the feet to lengthen the toes, pull the toes back and push through the heels. We have two more, really watching the alignment of the foot with the leg. And last one. And go ahead and roll down onto your back for our knee spreads. Knees and feet are together, abdominals scooping. Open the knees out wide to the side. Scoop the abdominals and lift the knees up toward the ceiling. Again, inhale, open out. Exhale, scoop to lift. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, abs in and up. Last one, inhale, open. Exhale, deepen the abs to come back up. And knees, knees face. Reach the knees up over to the right side as your left shoulder stays on the floor. Exhale, scoop deeply to pull the knees back up toward the ceiling. Then over to the left side, keeping the right shoulder on the floor. Exhale, deepen the abs and pull the knees back up. Over to the right side again, reaching long through that top knee. Exhale, scoop and pull the knees back up. Then over to the left, reaching again through that top knee. And scoop and pull up. Back over to the right. Abs in and up to pull the knees back up. Over to the left. And again, abs use the abs scoop and pull back up. Over to the right one more time. And use those abs to lift the knees. And last one to the left. And lift the knees back up to the ceiling. Go ahead and flip back over onto your tummy for goalpost arms. Again, our uh, abdominals are 
uh, lifting as if they're going to come right up off the floor. Just arms are straight out from the shoulder, bent at a 90 degree angle at the elbow. Shoulder blades are sliding down toward your back pockets. Forehead is either resting lightly on the floor or hovering slightly off the floor. Press the elbows into the floor to lift the hands and then lower back down. Again, press the elbows and lift the hands and lower back down. Two more press to lift and lower. Last one, press and lift and lower back down. Go ahead and flip back over onto your back for our leg slides. Beginning with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, legs are open about hip bone distance apart, arms are long by your side. Press your right heel down into the floor as you lengthen that leg out long, reaching the heel toward the wall in front of you. Scoop the abs as you pull the knee back in. And again, press down and out, same leg, reaching long. And scoop and pull back in. We have two more on this leg. See how long you can reach that heel? Can you touch the wall? And use the abs to pull the leg back in. One more, press down and out. Really reach and pull it back in. Left leg, press the heel down into the floor as you lengthen long. And scoop the abs and pull that leg back in. Again, press down and lengthen out. And pull it back in. We have two more, press down, really stretch the side of the body, scoop the abdominals and pull back in. Last one, press down and out, and pull it back in. The hundred, begin with the head on that curl, arms reach long, pull your knees in toward your chest and pump your arms, inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, fill up the lungs, Exhale, empty the lungs. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, sink the abs toward the floor. Inhale and reach those arms long. Exhale and try to curl up a little more. We have five more breaths. And blow it all out. Inhale deeply. Exhale and empty out the lungs. We have three more. Inhale. Exhale, sink the abs. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And sit all the way up. Seated roll backs. Knees are open about hip bone distance apart with the feet flat on the floor. Grab behind your thighs. Exhale as you roll your marble toward your heart, rounding your back into a capital C curve. Then inhale and sit up tall. And again, exhale, tilt that pelvis backward to round your spine. Inhale, grow even taller. Exhale, keep those spaces open between the vertebrae as you round your spine. Inhale, sit up even taller. We have four more, or three more. It would be nice if I could count. Inhale and sit up. Two more. Exhale around that spine. Inhale, sit up even taller. Last one. Exhale, really round in a capital C curve. And then inhale and sit up. Go ahead and roll down onto your back if you'd like and you challenge yourself by letting go. One leg circle. Bring your right knee directly over your hip joint. Anchor everything that's touching the mat into the mat. And take your leg across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Two more, really scooping the belly to stabilize the body. And reverse, take the leg out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Really reach through that knee like you're going to reach the knee all the way to the ceiling. Drawing a circle with your kneecap. And change legs. And take your left leg across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Across, down, around, and up. Two more, keeping that body nice and stable, only the leg moves. And reverse, take the leg out, down, across, and up. Out, down, across, and up. Three more, really stretch the spine from head to tailbone. Last one. And teeter totter, which is our preparation for rolling like a ball. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Press the back of your thighs into your hands, hands into the back of the thighs. And head on that curl to look down your shirt. 
and begin by rolling the marble to your heart to teeter-totter for six, five, four, three, two, one, and sit all the way up. Add series, single leg stretch. Pull one knee into your chest, the other leg out straight, capital C curve with the spine. Hug the center line as you switch your legs like a grasshopper. And switch, and switch, and switch. Press that leg down and out to switch. Down and out to switch. And switch. Two more on each leg. Really lengthen through the crown of the head, keeping that capital C curve. Last switch. And pull both knees into your chest. Double leg stretch. Inhale, extending arms and legs away. Exhale, scoop deeply to pull in. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, keep the length as you scoop and pull in. Inhale, lengthen even more. Exhale, deepen the abs. Inhale, away. Exhale, scoop. Two more. Exhale, pull it back in. Last one. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, and pull it back in. Spine stretch forward. Sit up as tall as you can. Actually, sit up tall like you're sitting against a wall. Imagine you have a wall in your, uh, behind you and you're pressing your head. And then your spine from your um, top of your shoulders all the way down to your tailbone into that wall. Knees can be bent if need be. Otherwise, you can have them straight. Take your arms out in front of you. Exhale as you peel your spine off that imaginary wall, starting at your head and working through to your middle of your back. Inhale as you stack back up against that wall, working from the bottom to the top. Again, exhale and round forward. Inhale and stack back up, lengthening that spine. And again, exhale, round forward. Keep the length of the spine, keep growing. Inhale, stack up, growing even taller. Two more, exhale, round forward. Inhale and roll back up. Last one. Exhale, round forward. Really reach through the crown of the head. And inhale and roll back up, stacking up tall. Saw. Arms out to the side. Exhale, twist and round forward, just like you just did. And then inhale and roll up and rotate to the other side. Exhale, round forward, anchoring the opposite hip. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Exhale, reach and try to twist a little more and a little more. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Exhale, reach, reach deeply, twisting more. Inhale, roll up, one more on each side. Exhale as you round forward, really reaching deeply. Inhale, roll up and rotate. Exhale, round forward, really spiraling that upper body. Inhale, roll up and come back to center. Bring the arms and legs together. If you can, roll down without your hands. Otherwise, you can use your hands to walk down and you can bend your legs. Roll onto your side for side kick series. And line your body up with the back edge of the mat, either having your arm long or taking that hand behind the head. Bring the legs to the front edge of the mat and lift the top leg, reaching it long. You want to keep these hips stacked right on top of each other and not collapse that waist in. Take the leg to the front and double kick. Sweep it long to the back, double kick. And front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Two more, keeping that upper body nice and still. Only the leg moves, last one. And ups and downs, top leg over bottom leg. Turn it out so your knee is facing the ceiling. Kick the leg up, reach long to lower down. Keep those hips stacked as you lift. Reach long to lower down. Spiral that leg to turn it out even more as you lift. Two more. And last one. Really rotate on this one. And inner thigh lifts in circles. Grab that ankle if you can and place the foot on the floor. Bottom leg moves to the back edge of the mat. Really stack those hips. Lift the bottom leg. Reach it long and lower down. Lift. Lengthen head to heel and lower. Lift. Stretch that spine and lower. Lift. Lengthen and lower. Last one. And circle front. Up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Three more really big circles. Really working the upper and back part of that circle. Last one. And reverse. Up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down and back, really lengthening long, head to heel. Two more, really scoop those abs. Last one, 
and take the top leg over bottom leg and roll onto your belly. Stack your, your hands underneath your forehead. Exhale as you scoop the abdominals up off the mat. Inhale and lengthen head to toes. Again, exhale, scoop even deeper. Inhale, lengthen even longer. Last one, exhale, see how deeply you can scoop. And then inhale and see how long you can lengthen. Go ahead and roll over onto your left side. Sit up just as you did on the first side. And begin with front and back. The leg sweeps to the front, double kick. Sweep long to the back, double kick. And again, front, front, and back, back. Three more, keeping this hip stacked one on top of the other. So really reach out of that leg. And last one. And ups and downs, top leg over bottom leg, turn it out, spiral that leg to lift, lengthen long to lower. Keep the hips stacked as you lift, lengthen long to lower. We have two more. And last one. And inner thigh lifts in circles. Go ahead and grab that ankle if you can, plant it on the floor, take the bottom leg back. Stack those hips, lift the leg, lengthen long and lower. Lift, lengthen, lower, lift, scoop the abs, and lower. You have two more. Last one, and circle front, up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Three more, two more, really big circles. Last one, and reverse, up, front, down, and back. Up, front, down, and back. We have three more. Lengthening long from head to heel. Abs scoop deeply. Last one. And one leg teaser prep. Teaser one leg prep. Go ahead and sit all the way up, bringing your thighs together with one leg extended, grab behind the thighs. Exhale as you tilt into that C curve. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, roll the marble to the heart. Inhale and sit up. Last one, exhale round. Inhale, sit up and change legs. Exhale, tilt that pelvis backward to round. Inhale, sit up. And again, exhale round, hug the inner thighs. Inhale, sit up. Last one, exhale round. Inhale and sit up. Find a space where you can stand against a wall for our wall series. Walk your feet out one foot distance from the wall. Heels together, toes no more than one fist distance apart, and you're pressing your entire spine into the wall from head to tailbone, with the exception of your neck. So really pulling those abdominals in and up, and we're going to start with our arm circles. Plug the shoulder blades into the wall, reach the arms forward and up, open wide to the side to lower. Again, forward and up, open out to lower. We have four more this direction. Now when you open, you do not actually have to reach all the way to the wall. You only want to open as far as you can, keeping your ribs pressing into the wall. And one more. And reverse. Open wide to the side. Reach forward to lower. And again, out wide. Reach forward to lower. Four more. Keeping those shoulder blades pressing it into the wall. Entire spine is pressing into the wall. You're really scooping those abs. I believe we have two more. Like I said, we Pilates instructors cannot count. And last one. And alternating arms. Take one arm up and switch those arms. And switch. See how long you can make these arms. And switch. Keep plugging the shoulder blades into the wall. Abs are scooping deeply. And switch, and switch. Two more on each side, and switch. One more each side, and last one. And go ahead and lower that arm. Roll downs with arm circles. Peel your spine off the wall, starting at your head, working through your upper back, your middle back, your low back until just your tailbone touches, and circle the arms, nice lazy circles. And reverse your circle, really scooping the abdominals. 
Let the arms hang as you roll up, piece by piece by piece, really articulating that spine against that wall. And again, peel your spine off the wall. Notice we're going into a cat will see curve. It's just instead of sitting with our tailbone on the floor, tailbone's on the wall, so we're standing. Circle those arms and reverse the circle. Let the arms hang as you roll up bone by bone by bone, really stretching the spine as you place it back against the wall. One more, peeling off the wall, one piece at a time. Focus is on rolling through that spine. The abs are still scooping. Circle the arms. Reverse that circle. Let the arms hang and roll up. Stretching that spine nice and long. And wall slides. Walk out one more foot distance from the wall and separate those heels so the feet are about hip bone distance apart. Arms are long by your side. Still pressing that entire spine against the wall. I really have to focus on that low back section. Some of you might have to focus a little higher. Slide down that wall like you're sitting in a chair. Reach the arms forward. Then press through the heels to slide back up. Arms return to your side. Again, slide down and press through the heels to come back up. One more time, slide all the way down. Press through the heels to come all the way back up. One leg slide, bring those feet together and slide down the wall. Extend one leg, press through the heel to come back up and bring the feet together. And again, slide down, take the other leg, press up, try not to do a snake up the wall. And again, slide down, first leg goes out, press all the way up. And again, slide down, second leg goes out, and press back up. And one more on each side. And last one. Oh, that's my weak one, I can tell. And walk your feet back to the wall. Stand up and step out from the wall. Feel the length from your head. Stretching all the way through your body, down through your heels. I hope that you had a good workout today. I enjoyed it, and I hope that you will join me again tomorrow for our next workout. Have a great day.